Hi, it's me again. So one of the things I wanted to talk about in this video is I wanted to talk about Jesus himself. And not just Jesus, but suffering. The suffering that he experienced for us. Now, we all know about the passion of the Christ. We know about his walk with the cross. But there were other instances too. Now, one of the things that often gets brought up is that we look down upon people in our society. That there are certain people in our society that we look, look down upon that we think are somehow different from us. For instance, take immigrants, refugees. These are people who are fleeing from some unimaginable violence, and when they come here, oftentimes we might even be a little burdened by their needs. But guess who else was a refugee? Jesus. In the story of Matthew, it actually opens up with the story of Jesus' family, who were essentially refugees fleeing a tyrannical ruler, a tyrannical ruler looking to kill every innocent child in his realm. Where else can we see something like that? Oftentimes we, ex we have refugees in our midst who are fleeing some of the same conditions. And this leads me to a broader point, and it's something that I say very often. I believe fundamentally that there is nothing separating us from the people that we look down upon, except one really, really bad day. Immigrants, refugees, inmates, the homeless, and other marginalized folks. As a transgender woman, I have often experienced violence, cruelty, insensitivity, and were I a person of color, this would be magnified substantially. I've gotten off pretty easily, though. I agree with Eugene Debs when he said, Your Honor, years ago I recognized my kinship with all living beings, and I made up my mind that I was not one bit better than the meanest on earth. I said then, and I say now, that while there is a lower class, I am in it, and while there is a criminal element, I am of it, and while there is a soul who is in prison, I am not free. Our Lord Jesus Christ was a death row inmate. He was a refugee. He was working class. He was poor. And yet, he was completely without sin. And if there's one takeaway from his story, is that you can be completely without sin and have tons of haters and get arrested. So, here's controversial opinion. No one deserves to be tortured, killed, mutilated, maimed, raped, executed, denied medical care, or subjected to unnecessary pain and suffering regardless of the crimes that they may have committed. I am sick and tired of hearing about prison rape. I'm sick and tired of jokes about prison rape or suggesting people suggesting that a sex offender should get raped or mutilated. Many of these people have done horrific things to other people. Many people in prison were very unlucky. Many people in prison made a bad decision in a moment of weakness, but every single one of them is still a human being and even though they may have to go through a system in order to incapacitate them or as a deterrent against future crimes, the core of the criminal justice system should always be built on fair, rational, impartial, and objective due process, something that is denied to many, as well as a respect for the rights of all human beings and for reforming people and giving them a fresh start as productive members of society again. We should never treat a person like trash. The moment that we accept prison rape or torture is the day that we accept that there are circumstances in which it is okay to rape and to torture people. It is the day that we accept that rape and torture are ever justified. Any one of us could one day go to prison, guilty of a crime or otherwise. You never think it can happen to you until it does. You can be falsely accused as a close friend of mine was. 
you can be accused as Jesus was.